Another type of shock absorber manufacturing technology is also available, known as the monotube shock absorber. The monotube shock absorber, as the name suggests, has only one tube. This tube has two compartments, separated by a floating piston. The first is the working chamber, where the oil is located, and the rod is moved by a combined twin compression rebound valve. The second compartment is the expansion chamber, charged with high-pressure nitrogen gas between 25 and 30 bar, which, thanks to its contraction and rebound effect, keeps the working chamber constantly filled with oil. The design is completed by a floating piston made of metal or sintered plastic material, which separates the gas from the oil, preventing them from mixing. When the shock absorber is compressed, the rod enters the working chamber and the oil compresses the gas, causing the floating piston to move, reducing the volume of the chamber. By contrast, when the shock absorber is extended, the rod leaves the working chamber, reducing the gas pressure, which causes it to rebound, moving the floating piston again. The floating piston movement ensures that the working chamber is constantly filled with pressurized oil, avoiding foaming or aeration problems. The high pressure gas charge also increases the reaction rate of the shock absorber and thereby vehicle grip and control. However, these improvements have unwanted side effects, such as a loss of comfort. By increasing grip, the ride becomes bumpier, so this type of technology is generally used in SUVs, where hardness is not a problem. 